All right, guys, today we're going to be talking about the look good naked protocol, how to drop body fat and build lean muscle. This is going to be a really good one. I'm going to be interviewing my brother from another mother, Eric Bach with Bach Performance. This is going to be a really good one, guys. I'm telling you, this guy has a ton of knowledge and he's been featured on Men's Health, uh, T Nation, uh, Yahoo. He's been all over the place, guys. This is going to be a really good one. So if you have a goal of being able to transform your body, get a six pack and just look absolutely phenomenal, you know, with your clothes on and, you know, for the subject, for the topic, with your clothes off, this is going to be a video you're going to want to stick around for. So I know in just a few seconds or so, he's going to jump on. As you guys jump on, uh, let me know where you're watching from. Again, we're going to be talking about the look good naked protocol today, how to drop body fat and build lean muscle. So as you jump on, let me know where you're watching from. And I know in just a second, Eric's going to jump on with us. We might have uh, a little bit of time to be able to answer questions towards the middle and end. And so if you guys have questions, uh, drop them below. Uh, let me see, drop. We got North Carolina in the building. What's up, Maya? What's going on? What's up, Ryan? Drop your questions down below if you got questions. We got New Orleans in the building. What up, what up, what up? All right, Eric. All right, I see you, man. All right, we're about to get him in here. Hey, what's going on, man? Shit, how you doing? I'm great. How about you? Cold. 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 Moving to the beach and I got like 45 degrees and freezing rain. Well, not quite freezing, but you know what I mean. Yeah. How how you like it out there? It's been great, man. It's been great. It has been great. Yeah. man. I I appreciate you jumping on with me, man. Taking some time out of your schedule to jump on. But uh, we'll yes. go jam out, man. It's going to be a good one. Yeah, man. I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be a good time. And hey, what do you got in that picture behind you, by the way? Dreams way more than excuses. Damn. I like it. Yeah. Way more that, than that elephant, like... too. Right, right. <laughs> exactly. Hey, man. How's the family doing before we dive in? Hey, man. Family's good. Family's good. Everybody's healthy. Everybody's happy. So no complaints there, man. Just... uh Navigating the move. Love it, love it, love it. So before you jumped on, I was letting everybody know we're going to be talking about the Look Good Naked Protocol. I know that's something that you talk a lot about. Yes, sir. That's your thing, man. And and also how to drop body fat and build lean muscle, you know, because I I noticed that a lot of times when people are trying to, you know, get their body in shape, they don't just want to lose weight because they find themselves looking skinny fat, you know? Exactly. (laughs) And so I know you're the guy, you're the man with the plan. And so we're going to dive in. And I want to talk first about your backstory. For all the people that don't know you, you know, this may be their first uh, exposure to you. So I want you to dive into the backstory of who Eric Bach was before, you know, this super Greek God looking guy on the gram and on social media. (laughs) M.M. Let's start with let's start with the story, the backstory. All right, man. Yeah. So kind of kicking it off. Right. I started training first. Not because I want to necessarily look good naked, but, you know, I was an athlete growing up, right? I wanted to be bigger, stronger, more powerful for sports. Um, unfortunately, my body had a different idea, particularly when I was young. Fortunately, you know, I've always been a pretty good athlete, but, um, you know, if you are not growing, that makes it much, uh, much more difficult. So it all kind of flashes back. This one, uh, one football practice I had running down the field, and I had an angle on a guy. And actually, I didn't, I didn't even have an angle. That, that's the biggest piece. I didn't even have an angle to run this guy down. And he decided to cut back right in my direction and ran me over instead of just beating me to the line. And so embarrassed, man, just like felt completely fucking powerless in my own body. Right. It was like I provided less resistance than a blade of grass for this dude. And yeah, man. So, you know, like hearing the taunts all the way to the end zone, kind of getting heckled a little bit right there. Um, And at that point, though, I was in a low spot. Right. Like I'd always been. Um, I was a pretty good athlete. I always been able to compete. And all of a sudden I was just physically inferior and I never felt, mm. you know, so, so weak. So yeah, powerless um, in that, in that, in that instance. And at that point I was right. really hanging my head and I had a good coach who brought me up to the gym. Um, at that point, you know, I had been, you know, reading a lot about training and, you know, in our day was like picking things out of like, you know, magazines and, and trying to see what the yep. best workout was, but most of the stuff me. that you, yeah, man. And most of the stuff that you see at that point, though, is 
it's designed for, you know, guys who are doing a full cycle with 20 years of training experience under their belt. And that's completely the opposite way of how most folks really need to be training when they want to build their best body. So fast forward that, um, had a really good coach right off the bat who helped me really focus on success comes from the ruthless execution of the basics. So really basic exercises, getting stronger and being able to build your physical capabilities first. And then that morphed, you know, really over the last shit, two decades now, um, in terms of coaching from, you know, working with high level athletes to now working with a lot of people who want to be able to perform incredibly well, but ultimately look good naked without living in the gym. Damn. I love it, man. I love it. And I, I think we have very similar stories. Like we're both athletes, you know, yep. I, I think even after you stop being an athlete in school, you still are a lifelong athlete, you know? Yeah. And, and, and it sounds like that, that moment where you kind of got embarrassed playing football, that was the trigger moment in your life to, to make a change and to start getting that look that you wanted. Exactly, exactly. And the most beautiful thing was, and you can, you can speak to this too as an athlete, yeah. when you train like an athlete, a lot of the physical qualities that people end up wanting are what you mm -hmm. develop. And the reason being, you focus on you know, basic pillars and foundational things, like you got to get stronger first. And when you do that, it makes every, you know, every like physique altering bodybuilding style training gets exponentially more effective when you're already strong. Right. And right. that's what a lot of people, yes. a lot of people miss who don't necessarily have that athletic background. So they get sucked mm -hmm. into trying all these different methods, tons of interval training, all kinds of crazy volume before they can really maximize it. Ooh, hey, that, that's a good point. And before we dive into it, because we're going to talk about a lot of the big mistakes that a lot that you see a lot of people making. But uh, we're, we're about eight minutes in. And I just want to let everybody know, as you jump on, we're talking about the, the, uh, the look good naked protocol with Eric Bach, all right, with Bach Performance. You, got, you guys go follow him also. OK, but now let, let's dive into the most common big mistakes that you see a lot of people making in terms of being able to like just transform their body to look good naked yeah so let's, let's hit the biggest one right away what most people end up wanting you know the one they want to look good naked but what that normally means is they want to get leaner so they want to lose body fat but they don't want to probably replace that same amount of body fat they're losing directly with muscle you probably hear the same thing like hey i want to lose this gut but then i want to be able to build bigger arms bigger chest bigger shoulders i want to have that v-typered physique where i look great in a t-shirt and you know what i look pretty damn good naked when i'm getting down so um you yep. know when it comes to that the number one mistake that people make is they oscillate back and forth between losing fat and building muscle. And I can tell you without a doubt, the fastest way to dramatically improve your health and transform your body, feel more confident and have more momentum, it's going to be losing fat first. It really is. So almost universally, when I have somebody who wants to do a recomposition so they can look great naked, the primary focus needs to be on fat loss. But we're not talking long, drawn out fat loss because I know both you and I have been through that ringer. Um, we've right. done it personally and taken clients. When you focus on fat loss for a long time, it's incredibly, incredibly difficult on your body. So I prefer a short-term aggressive approach to yeah. really get that weight off quick. So muscle. So that's the biggest thing that I see. People hopping back and forth between trying to bulk up and trying to get lean. And you end up sending your body different signals and becomes almost impossible to make the gains that you want. That's fact. Yeah. I'm right there with you on that. I see so many people, they're like, Oh man, I just want to get rid of my stomach. I want to look like you, Jay. I just want to get rid of this stomach and just get my arms looking rock solid and get my yeah. shoulders and chest right. And so that's a big one that I see a lot of people making. So that's, that's the first mistake. What, what would you say that second mistake is that you see a lot of people making? Second most common mistake. Yeah, we'll talk about this one in the gym specifically. This is more in the training mm -hmm. aspect, but turning every single resistance training workout into something that's more like high-intensity interval training. Mm -hmm. where you aren't actually getting stronger and you're consistently out of breath the entire time. And the logic, mm -hmm. it makes sense when you talk about it, right? Like, well, right. if I want to get cut, I need my muscles to burn. I need to be able to burn more calories directly in this workout. But right. unfortunately, that kind of creates like, an impossible vertical for you. And really the biggest thing when it comes to be able to make that transformation is going to be training very similar to how you want to be able to build muscle actually when you're doing a fat loss cut, because that's going to hold on to the muscle that you do have. So just like when you were mentioning in the very beginning here, right. when you do get lean, which is going to be primarily the focus of your diet, then you have deep cuts. You've got visible muscles. You've got the rock solid metabolism where you can actually right. be able to enjoy that lifestyle of being stronger, leaner, more muscular versus blasting your testosterone levels. So you're, you know, con consistently feeling lethargic. <laughs> 
you got less muscle and then you're kind of skinny fat instead of, you know, ripped, lean, athletic, all that stuff that people want. Yeah, I, I, I personally went through that myself. I was the guy, slim body, big head growing up. And so I was, yeah. to be honest, my, my dad, he thought I wanted to work out for football. Yeah. And in reality, I wanted to be able to look good so that I could, you know, talk to the young, my crushes that I had when I was in middle school. <laughs> yeah, man. That's what you got to, I mean, that's a piece of it too, right? Yeah, it, it is, you know, <laughs> looking good naked, right? But, yeah, man. Um, and so that, that's, that's big, that's big, you know. Those are two mistakes. Let's, let's talk about that last and third biggest mistake that you see that, that are really holding people back in terms of being able to transform their body. Yeah, let's talk about the diet aspect right here. And I know this is something yeah. that you and I share, uh, but it's this idea of having multiple small meals throughout the day to keep hunger at bay and to keep your metabolism running full throttle. Um, this uh, is one of the oldest ones in the book, kind of like the classic, you know, this this works really well, like for competitive physique athletes in terms of the bodybuilding aspect, right? Because when you're eating more consistently, well, guess what? It's easier to have more food. But for most people, what ends up happening when you follow something where you're having five or six small meals spread evenly throughout the day, it provides more instances where you can have errors. And it keeps food on the top of your mind all the time. Man. Right? And so when you're trying to cut down on food, but then food is in front of you all the time, top of mind all the time, and then there's temptation everywhere because they're tempting foods everywhere, the chance right. of you messing that up and then dramatically overeating your calories, even when it feels like you're doing everything right, is sky high. And that itself can be incredibly, incredibly demotivating and stressful in and of itself. And particularly if you were a busy man or woman and you're trying to really do this stuff around a hectic work schedule, so you've got kids or a hectic career, it becomes exponentially right. more difficult to be able to stay on track with these meals because the meal prep and everything else that's involved. So I find, you know, dialing back and following an intermittent fasting approach is the best thing to do, at least in the beginning, simply because you can get rid of some of those hunger pangs, um, different signals going on, improve insulin sensitivity, and really get some quick wins in terms of changing your physique. And that itself can be motivating to help push you through to the finish line. Oh man, that's powerful. Man, let, let's, let's talk about a story with it could either be you or maybe a client that you've had yeah and you know I, I know you help a lot of like executives uh busy professionals uh let's think of i want you to think about somebody that you helped in the past or maybe current that were going through some challenges they want their body to you know look good naked they really want to transform but they they were just going through you know the ringer they just felt like they're spinning their wheels weren't able to get the goal the results they really wanted to and let's let's see how we can uh, weave in the things that you use this protocol of looking good naked and how you implement that into their life and how it helped them transform. Yeah, and definitely. A lot. <laughs> yeah, no, no, you nailed it, man. Um, so the number one thing, let me tell you about a client. I'm not going to use his, uh, his name right now. Some of my clients yeah. like to keep their you know, identity a little bit concealed, which is, which is fine, man. I totally get that. Yeah. Uh, but this individual lives in New Jersey. They own their own company and they have doubled every year in growth over the last three years. So it's becoming a very large a firm that they're running right now. So he's in the process of negotiating a lease in a brand new building that they're building and all this stuff and expanding a team. And, you know, when we, when we started chatting, he said, Eric, if I want to be able to perform my best, I need to be treating my body like my pro athlete. Because you see all these other people that are in Forbes, you know, 500 and in being able to, you know, have all these incredibly powerful companies are generally dialed in in terms of what they're doing with their health and with their physique. And the missing thing for him happened to be that health aspect and the energy and the confidence in his body, knowing that, you know, hey, when you look good naked, that bleeds over to everything else that you do. And so he came in and he was saying, um, he's like, hey, you know what? I almost had to cancel a trip three weeks ago because my blood pressure was so high. It was 180 oh, over shit. 110, which is in a danger zone. He's like, so I have to do something right now to take care of my health. And to take care of my physique, knowing that for me to be able to get where I want to professionally, my body is the one thing that is holding me back right now, right? Mm. And here's what we did. In the beginning, we did what we call our insulin reboot protocol, which is a low, lower carbohydrate intermittent fasting approach that we follow for 30 days. And the reason why we do this right now is it gives you that recomposition effect where you can start to lose body fat very quickly. Um, he was down, I think, nine pounds even in the first week. So his motivation for everything to continue pushing sky high. When you get those quick results, again, sky high motivation. And that can help you build right. the long-term habits that you need to be able to keep long-term sustainable change. So we focused and on that. For, for, yeah. One, one, a lot of people that may not know what recomposition is, 
it, could you explain what recompos? I know what it is. Could you explain yeah, it briefly yeah. for everybody? Yeah, no doubt. So recomposition is being able to lose fat and build muscle. A lot of people want to say lose, I want to lose 15 pounds, mostly in my gut, lose all that stuff, but I want to build bigger arms and bigger chest. So ultimately, it's the idea of making that switch, maybe not necessarily chasing a number on a scale, but just an alteration of what your physique ends up looking like. So when you do that, that can be, that's basically the holy grail of, of transforming your body. And so with this guy right here, we jumped right in in terms of that, um, uh, insulin reboot protocol for 30 days. Um, his blood pressure right now is back just about to normal levels, about 130 over uh, over 85 is what it was within just a couple weeks, which is oh. like, that's a 60% decrease from being in a danger zone and <laughs> being on bed rest um, and getting that quick weight loss. So um, what I like to focus on, man, with, when you get somebody in right away, again, it's going to be an intermittent fasting approach because we can dial back what those hunger signals are. And then we focus on foods either came from the ground or they had a face. Right. So like it's mm. basically kind of an, almost like a paleo-ish angle to it. Uh, but just right. getting out all those processed foods and all that shit that makes it really difficult to not overeat and to mm. be able to keep things within the lines. And so that's really the jumpstart process right there, especially on a dietary aspect. That's, that's awesome. Let, let's, let's dive into what, what did you go through or experience or what, what made you say, okay, I need to start having people uh, eat foods that, may have had a face and uh, things that grew <laughs> from the ground. Like what, what went on in your life or with a client of yours for you to say, okay, we need to implement this into our client's protocols to get results. Yeah. I mean, ultimately I don't have problems with most processed foods. In fact, mm -hmm. Hey, you and I've gone out together. We, you know, we've gone out, we've had good nights out. Yeah. We've had great meals. And the thing right. is like, you can enjoy a lot of your favorite foods and enjoy a lot of those things and still get in great shape and build a great body. However, right. the more processed a type of food is going to be, the diffi more difficult it is going to be in order to restrict the amount that you're eating. So it's basically mm -hmm. like, Powerful. hey, if you don't want to get wet, don't go outside when it's raining. If you don't want to overeat, don't eat the stuff that is specifically designed to make it easy to overeat because it's hyper palatable, it's hyper salty, it's sweet, and it's got all those different things that make it so good. I mean, dude, if you put a box of Cinnamon Toast Crunch in front of me, that bitch is gone. <laughs> like that whole thing is gone, man. <laughs> Right. Same. So it's like you've got to be able to eliminate that temptation and just get it out of the way first just to recalibrate your body and get in alignment. Um, and personally, with me, I've had so many clients who travel consistently are now always eating at restaurants. This becomes a very simple way for them to focus on like, OK, what are the foods that are going to be as minimally processed as possible where I can still maybe enjoy the aspect of going out to dinner and going out to eat, being able to close a deal while having a meal. Right. Right. And be able to stay in alignment with what I need to get done for my health and for my body. Oh, man, that's, that's powerful. And, and even going back to, because I'm a huge fan of Cinnamon Toast Crunch, too. I mean, yeah. <laughs> if, if, if it's in my kitchen, it's gone. It's gone. <laughs> but um, talking about how environment plays a big toll on a person's results, because how you said, you know, if it's in my kitchen, it's, it's a wrap. I'm going to inhale mm -hmm. it. You know, what have you seen, like from your experience and clients' experiences, what, what's the importance of environment? and uh, being a successful. Yeah, I mean, 95% of the actions that you take are controlled by your subconscious mind, right? Like, we don't have to think about brushing our teeth. We just, we do it. We do it, it becomes something that happens like that. Food choices become the same way. So when you put food choices that are consistently in your house to become an easy go-to when you're hyper-stressed, you don't have time for a meal, well, you're gonna grab that, maybe that bag of chips and not go and prepare like, you know, chicken and broccoli or just whatever, right? Like you're gonna right. reach for that low and co lowest common denominator, especially when you're busy, when you're stressed out and have those additional constraints on your time and on your schedule, right? Ooh, golden grams, hey, golden hell grams. yeah, Good. I hear you there, I hear you there, Christy, <laughs> yep, for sure. So it's all about being able to set your environment up for success in a way that even when you're stressed, even when life is chaotic, even when you don't have time, you can make a better choice versus just reverting back to the easy, convenient, hyper palatable, calorie filled choice that's going to pull you off the goals that you want. Oh, powerful, powerful. Man, I hope you guys are soaking this in and taking notes because this stuff right here is like really what makes the difference in transforming your body and looking good naked. So, everybody who may be watching right now, you may have just jumped on. We're talking with Mr. Eric Bach owner of Bot Performance, and we're talking about the Look Good Naked Protocol, how to drop body fat and build lean muscle. And if you guys have questions, drop them down in the comments below. We're about to enter the last part of the segment, guys, because this has been a great one, man. Great one. 
Um, now, I want to talk about three steps that people could take from this video. All right, you, you have this person, they're super busy. Uh, they're a busy professional. They may be an entrepreneur or an executive, uh, a parent, you know, such as yourself. You might be a parent because, you know, when you juggle all these different responsibilities, you don't have a whole lot of time on your hands, right? But they still want to look good, look good naked. They still want to feel proud about how they look with their clothes on too. What three action steps can they take from this video today or right now and start to implement these things to see results. All right, so this is gonna be a, a great one for anyone who's incredibly busy. One, yeah. just start an intermittent fasting approach. I don't care whether you wanna eat more of your calories in the evening or if you wanna eat more of them in the morning. Personally, I prefer what most of my clients do. You know, we'll just have coffee, lots of water, stuff like that in the morning. Eat meals between 12 and about 8 p.m. That gives you ample time to be able to get enough sleep. It gives you ample time for your gut to be kind of calmed down before you go into bed. You don't want to be eating too close to bed because that'll disrupt your sleep. Um, and then because you can limit that time frame, it's much harder for you to be able to overconsume calories, even if you have a big appetite. So that is basically a, a, it puts in confines to allow you to be able to eat some of the foods that you enjoy without dramatically overeating. Number two, automate one to two of your meals each and every single day. Jay, you can, you can speak to this before, like stepping on stage, you eat, many of the same meals over and over and over again. Is it entertaining? No, but here's why this is important. One, the more you have to think about food, the more it's going to stay top of mind. The more you have to plan food, the more it's going to feel difficult in order to be able to stay dialed in with what you're doing. So if you can automate basically what you're having for lunch each and every single day, let's say it's like, hey, I'm going to have you know, like six ounces of chicken. I'm going to have um, some sweet potato and I'm going to have two squares of dark chocolate because I'm obsessed with it. And then I'm going to have like, you know, a handful of carrots. Great. Just stick to that meal, make a couple little tweaks and like variations, like how you season the chicken, but just don't deviate off of it. Right. Because when you can automate stuff like that, you're going to build in more flexibility and more freedom directly for what you want to be able to do in the evening. So mm -hmm. if you're like, if you're like me or if you're like Jay and you want to be able to go and crush Chipotle every single night and still get great results, or if you want to be able to, um, you know, if you got work events and meetings, you're going out for dinner, there's going to be a couple cocktails involved, whatever. Again, I'm not, you know, saying that that's going to help you, but if that's essential to what you're doing, then you have more flexibility to be able to enjoy those things in the evening. Um, so those would be my top, my top two. Uh, number three, we're going to go a different angle here, sleep. Mm -hmm. Everyone likes to look for fat burners. Everybody looks for testosterone boosters. Check this out. Sleeping for five hours or less in five days can drop your testosterone level by 10 to 20%. Go check out the Chicago Sleep mm -hmm. Study. So a lot of people are looking for all these different things that they can use to optimize hormone levels, looking for the next supplement, spending a shitload of money on it, but they cannot turn off Netflix and get ample sleep beforehand. So the number one thing that you can do if you want to be able to improve hormonal health, how well your body functions, how well you do cognitively, how well you use the nutrients that you are eating, is going to be able to, or being able to focus on getting at least seven hours of sleep. Is it always practical? No. Is it sustainable? No. But hey, like I've got an 18 month old daughter, so I completely get it as a parent, but unfortunately okay. she's been a good sleeper. It's something I still make the time for to at least get six, six and a half. Most days I do get seven. Uh, but that's something that really anyone can do and apply that directly. It's going to make everything else that you're doing that much better. Holy smokes. Man, drop the bomb. <laughs> Trying, man. Love it. This is, this is awesome, man. This is awesome. If you, if you guys are liking this stuff, man, drop some hearts. Share the freaking video. Yeah, yeah let's get some nice. hearts in there. Come on now. Yeah, get some hearts. Show us some love. Christy says, uh, I'm so glad I got to catch this interview. I miss crying in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get you another leg day going on. There we go. Uh -oh. <laughs> That's what's up, man. Th this has been awesome. I hope you guys are loving it. Uh, if you are, let us know down in the comments below. I see some, I see some faces that have been following me for, for quite some, some time, too. That's awesome. There what's we up, go. Bro? What's going on? Man, Eric. I really appreciate you jumping on today. Um, for anybody that may want to follow you and they, they want to know more about what you offer, uh, how, how can they get in touch with you? Yeah, best way, just go right over to my, uh, my Instagram at Bach Performance. You know, just mm -hmm. drop me a DM saying, hey, Eric, caught you, caught you on, Jay's, uh, on Jay's show and, and appreciate the information that you had or whatever. Um, and we'll just have a conversation from there, right? Um, more than happy to uh, provide whatever assistance that I can for you. Uh, also know that you are in great hands when you're hanging out with JJ.
Still yeah, there? I'm back. Somebody tried to call. <laughs> oh, no, you're good, man. You're good. I've been there, too. I'm like, get off. Get off there. Right. <laughs> That's awesome. But uh, I, I appreciate you, brother. And, um, hey, if you ever need anything from me, man, I'm here for you. Yeah, man, definitely. Next time in Atlanta, I'll let you know. If you want to come out to the beach when it gets warmer, hopefully in a couple of weeks. Oh, I'm coming. You got a spot. There we go, man. There we go. All right, awesome. man. I'll catch you later. Thank you so much. Right, catch you later. No problem, brother. Talk to you soon. All right. Take care. Bye. You too. Bye-bye. Guys, crazy, crazy interview today. How to look good naked. The look good naked protocol with Eric Bach. Man, if you didn't catch the full thing, I'm going to drop it on my Instagram so that you can catch the replay because it's a video that you're going to want to watch like maybe two or three times if you truly want to transform your body, look good naked, drop body fat, build lean muscle, the whole nine. This video is going to show you exactly what steps you need to take, okay? Also, um, let me see here. Yeah, I'm also going to put it on YouTube, okay? And so if you're somebody you may not be on Instagram and Facebook that often, I'm also going to put this video on YouTube and so you'll also be able to find it there. Uh, if you have any questions about nutrition, uh, exercise, feel free to shoot me a personal message. I'm more than happy to help you and give you some guidance and clarity on what steps you need to take. All right? Other than that, guys, I'm out of here. Mm.